Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 9th, 2023. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of bearish activity in there, and once again, we are reversing it um, this morning. We've been seeing this pretty much every day where we reverse the day before and we fluctuate dramatically in volume and even our VIX continues to fluctuate back and forth. So kind of an interesting market that we're trading. Um, so how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to approach the market for today. Now why we've been kind of flip-flopping here in the diamonds back and forth, back and forth, you can see we've largely just been in a consolidation mode and we're pressing back up here this morning in the pre-market with that pre-market pump uh, trying to push us up here to see whether or not we're gonna break out of this resistance level. Um, on the diamonds. So watch that closely. If those bulls do engage and we can break through this resistance, then maybe we push on up in here to test these resistance levels in, in the chart. Now keeping in mind, those are some pretty big point moves possible in that chart, which adds to the risk of the trade. So you'll want to be thinking about that carefully. Um, and then if we take a look, um, if the bears were to somehow find something to engage on, um, here today, then um, a push back, da back down into here would be um, a likely outcome. And, and please keep in mind, that's about a 500 point move um, in the Dow. So <laughs> these are big point swings that we're seeing um, as we chop in this wide range here on the diamonds. Now, if we were to push on through um, that level, then I think down into here, we could find some support. But right now, bulls are definitely in control in this market and there just doesn't seem to be um, any um, inspiration or shall I say the bears just don't seem to have any teeth at the moment as we continue to drive this market around inspired on earnings reports and completely and totally ignoring the actual economic condition of the of the market. Let's take a look at our SPY. Um, SPY continuing to rally here in the, the market. Now we've eased some of this parabolic look in the chart. Let me back this up just a little bit. We've eased a little bit of this parabolic look in here with that uh, recent little consolidation pullback, but you'll want to kind of keep a close eye on this because if we can push on through and we're gapping up this morning, if we can push on through, remember this high up here is quite a few points away and we're going to smack dead solid into a very big resistance level in the SPY. Doesn't mean we can't push through it, but you do want to kind of keep that in mind. Um, so if we can get back up there, that's where we're going to be watching for. I think we also want to be watching for the possibility that we could fade from this point and even put in a lower high um, on this point and continue this little resting consolidation um, in here, which would probably be a healthy thing for the market to do, but watch that closely. If those bears find inspiration, then I would, th I would say a test back down in here is possible just realize it's a big point move for that to occur. So you'll want to keep a close eye on that. And our QQQ, it remains in the most overextended uh, condition of the market. This is an extremely parabolic um, appearing chart. And it is, it's one of those kind of uh, patterns that we know cannot be sustained for that long. And um, although we we have a lot of energy in here, there's tremendous speculation in this market um, on these earnings reports and, and the talking heads continue to hype this in a very big way. So keeping a close eye on this, if we can find those bulls to push us through, then that's a pretty big point move uh, to push us back up to that high. And you can see we're gonna run into some price resistance up in this area. So let's watch that closely if we can push on through 
to that level up there. And if those bears were to come into play, well then once again, we would look for price support down in this area of the chart. And we do wanna keep in mind that there is that hint of possibility that we could be setting up a lower high situation and maybe what we're doing is just slipping into more of a consolidation which once again would be healthy considering the extension that we see here in the qqq and when i say extension just take a look at your moving averages um, anytime we are separated this far from our 50-day moving average like we separated here we look for that potential that we could come back pretty hard into um, into that 50-day moving average so just kind of keep an eye on that we're very very extended here and then if we take a look at our um, IWM old IWM is also very parabolic but we've relieved some of that with this pullback and in here in this chart you know it kind of signifies what's been going on today um, or this week uh, we reverse a reverse a reverse and now reverse again so we're just uh, four days in a row of daily reversals overnight um, so kind of keep a close eye on that um, if if those bulls find inspiration then i think a retest of these resistance levels back up in here seems very doable um, keeping in mind there's a lot of price congestion up here resistance in that chart and if the bears find inspiration, well, a retest of the support right in here might be the most logical place to go. And if that were to break, you can see it wouldn't be that much of a trip back down in here. It's a big point trip, but you could see that is certainly uh, possible um, to see in the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX is also flip-flopping um, just about every day. Um, um, uh, reverse, um, reverse, reverse, and reverse. So we're seeing the same thing going on here in our uh, VIX price action. And um, to this point, we haven't changed this trend at all. And we haven't really broken this down either um, to find those new lows here in the market. So. We'll want to keep an eye on that. This morning we're gapping up, so I'm expecting another reversal here in the VIX, um, continuing to follow that trend to the downside, albeit a little bit choppy. And if we take a look at our T2122, well, our T2122 continues to show that same kind of big point whips um, here in the market. Um, whipping back up and whipping back down and continuing to stay up here in that um, area of the market where we're a, a bit on that overbought side and uh, although we have had relieved that pressure pretty nicely here um, just yesterday or day before yesterday and um, if you'll take a look um, in this chart if we look right over here with the gap up this morning my guess is that gap up this morning is going to put us pretty close to being right up in that um, bearish reversal zone again. So watch that closely. Um, if the bears for some reason find inspiration, well, we certainly have plenty of opportunity to the downside if those uh, bears were to come into play. So watch that pretty closely. Then let's take a look at our T2108. And T2108 re remains in this really concerning place here. And here we are gapping up again this morning with a big uh, pop of about 200 points in the Dow. And you can see that as we reach up here, this is one of those areas of the chart where it's, it's, <laughs> it's showing us that extreme extension, that it's rare when we can push through um, um, an area like this and actually hold it. So we, when we reach up in here, we start looking for that opportunity that those bears will take over for at least a little while. And maybe it's just gonna be a consolidation that would provide that rest in the market and we would pull back maybe into a level like this and just rest for a little while. 
But we do run that risk that if those bears were to suddenly engage that we drop pretty hard here in that chart. We've got about 75% of our stocks holding above their 40-day uh, moving average, which is an extremely bullish condition and also an extremely extended condition for the market. And the same is true for T2107. Very, very extended in this move, although we have rested and pulled back here a bit in the chart you can see it's a relatively rare occurrence when we can and this goes all the way back to 2017 where we can push out of that level and hold it uh, for any length of time we typically see that overbought condition be punished pretty hard um, so we'll want to watch that carefully 62% um, of our stocks holding above their 200 day moving average this is extremely bullish considering we're still in a rate rising environment and um, that we have those economic conditions out there showing us that our consumer has dramatically weakened. So watch that close. And as we continue to whipsaw back and forth, if we were to take a look at our T2101, well, we continue in this kind of whippy move. We can't seem to find momentum in this market um, on those daily whips so we're a little bit on the confused side here and if we were to look at our index charts you can see we continue um, this whip sawing also in our volume um, a big strong bear volume not so strong bear volume real strong bullish volume not so strong bear volume Today we're likely to see another whip here. We just continue to bounce back and forth um, here in these charts. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And we've got a light day on that economic calendar, but we do have a number that could potentially move us around here a little bit. We've largely ignored the jobs problem that we have in here. What, what the Fed is worried about is what they call the doom loop. And that is where, um, we have too many jobs and then f employers are forced to pay more to keep people working and that more money drives um, additional inflation and it's just a loop that can continue um, a wage price spiral. And um, what we've seen so far is we're not seeing any reduction in those job numbers and those claims have been coming in very, very weak. Now that might change this week, but let's watch that closely here. Remember, this is one of those things where bad news becomes good news for the market and good news becomes bad news for the market. Uh, we got a natural gas report. We've got um, some short-term bond auctions and then a 30-year bond auction that might be interesting to pay attention to. And then the Fed balance sheet later on. As you plan forward into Friday, Keeping in mind, we've got um, some Fed speakers, consumer sentiment, and the Treasury statement on Friday to round out this week. On the earnings calendar, we have a very busy day with quite a few earnings reports. Some of those have already rolled out here this morning. So um, how about we take a look at a few of these and please keep in mind guys, there's no way I can cover them all this morning. So make sure you click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog if you wanna take a look at those um, reports that I've pulled out that are notable for today. So a few of them you might want to keep an eye on. Take a look at MT. MT Steel has been remarkably strong here recently. And we have this um, little pullback here in the chart. We're still holding into that trend. MT will be reporting today. That could be critical on how this chart progresses. Either we break that trend or we continue to fail here in MT. So watch that close. We've got a little cannabis that's going to be reporting in here today. CGC will be in there. We're going to hear from um, FLO, Flowers Foods. That's a defensive sector. Nice little bull flag setting up here trying to break that trend. Um, watch that closely. You might want to also keep an eye on uh, Masco. Masco. Uh, looks like Masco pulling back here this morning. Um, must not be very happy on the uh, supply side, building materials side. So watch that closely. It's been in a pretty strong upside trend, which doesn't quite make any sense to me when we see those housing numbers pulling back. But there you have it. Um, when we take a look, um, when PepsiCo has already reported today, whoops, let's go to PepsiCo. If I could type, uh, PepsiCo 
popping up this morning been a nice little consolidation they beat on earnings estimates so maybe trying to work itself back up out of this recent downtrend here we're going to hear from uh, philip morris here today um, plug plug power will be reporting today keep an eye on that we're going to hear from a little retail in uaa keep an eye on that that has been running hard to the upside had a recent pretty strong selling yesterday but um watch this little support area there may be that opportunity we can find that trend find that support and um, continue to move higher so watch that so um remember to click that link in the title uh, just below the title of the video to go back and catch that morning blog which will give you all of those notable reports for today how about we take a look at some of the stocks that could be setting up for today but before we oh yeah yeah let's do that um but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor click those thumbs up buttons leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much to everyone who shares this video out on their social media feed and just that big shout out to everyone who supports the channel through the buy me a coffee link also just below the title of the video let's take a look at some of this whipsawing that we're seeing here in the market as you guys know i've been mentioning um, the the strength of the us dollar suddenly popping up here well um, we've been whipsawing around in here in this as well so it's going to be kind of interesting to see typically we don't see a strong market when the dollar is getting strong um, um, but and as you can see, we're gapping down here this morning in the dollar. So if we reverse this back down to the downside, um, we might see that um, um, the market strengthen here again just a little bit and continue to push back up. Watch this support level in here, however. If we find some price support in here, well, that would be the opportunity potentially to buy um uup and that might suggest a little bit of weakness in the market coming so keep a close eye on that um, you might also want to be keeping a close eye on um, gold gold has been all over the place here um, trying to figure out which way it wants to go and it's interesting this morning when we're seeing the market show strength in the pre-market we're also seeing gold showing a little bit of strength in the pre-market and that's largely due to that dollar falling so keep a close eye on that dollar has been struggling here just a little bit i mean excuse me gold has been struggling here just a little bit but it's been quite an upside run so maybe this is just a rest or consolidating move here in some of these charts and we're waiting for that next reversal um, another place that's just been whipsawing all over the place is these bond uh, bonds the bond yields it's like every day we're either getting um, uh, suddenly we're getting an increase in the bond yields and nope 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 we're going to take it back the next day and we're seeing that flip-flopping here on these bond yields I have been holding TLT and you guys um, might look at this chart and say why um, it's it's one of those things that I've done many times in the past if the market's going to recover um, and do well then we'll typically see bonds pick up um, um, interest in buying bonds pick up pretty dramatically and we've come up off of this bottom strong but you can see we're struggling in here um, looking at this weekly chart what I'm waiting for is to see if we can get that pop out and that's when I will add to my TLT trade um, so keep a close eye on that if you have an interest in some of those longer term positions um, let's take a look at a few other places in here um, one of the members of right way options brought up this chart yesterday and all Although it's one of those little guys here kind of a cheapy guy which means it can whipsaw and really big price moves but I gotta tell you I kind of like the the way um, FSL looks in here uh, pulling back and we're we know that this administration is pushing anything um, uh, trying to drive all kinds of interest into any of these green energies so keep an eye on F cell here watch that close this little resting pullback might be interesting to see if that could 
push on higher so watch some of those solars out there in the market you might also with plug um, um, reporting today uh, might be interesting to watch this um, um, in the coming days noticing that we've broken the downtrend we're trying to hold this higher low um, on this earnings report we might find that inspiration to push on up in here and um, another one that might be interesting to be keeping an eye on it would be Ballard Power. Ballard Power is another one of those hydrogen plays um, here in the market. And um, we've been moving up in this nice upside trend and a good earnings report on plug power could also help here. So watch that carefully, a little bullish pattern possibly setting up here on Ballard. Let's see if that can push on through to the upside, worth keeping an eye on. Also, keep an eye on these uranium plays, CCJ. Boy, we're getting a big move in CCJ here this morning. So as you can see, we've been pulling back here just recently. This is a very steep rally, and I was hoping for a little bit more rest on this chart. But take a look at CCJ, really getting some energy into it this morning in the pre-market. Let's see if this has that opportunity to pop on out up here as we see China moving uh, very heavily into building um, uh, multiples of, of um, uh, nuclear power um, coming into their um, coming into their country. So watch that close. And you could also look at several of the others like URA here, URA ETF in that sector, trying to hold up here. Um, watch some of these material plays here in the market. Another place I was I was looking um, yesterday and we ended up getting a bit of selling coming in, but that selling move was immediately pushed right back up here. Take a look at US Steel, holding in here pretty nice. If that can hold some of this, and by the way, look how huge this level of price support is in here. So this is just a massive level of price support in the chart and we're continuing to maintain this upside trend. So I do think it's worth paying attention to this, at least putting it on the list, looking for that next opportunity if that can continue to push back to the upside. Some of the um, defensive sector um, starting to perk back up here again. Take a look at Mo, um, um, Altria, um, pushing up and through, through some resistance in here, trying to hold a higher low. I think this may potentially set up to the upside. You might want to watch that closely. Now, if you look at this trend, this would suggest this has more rest to do before it's ready. So I don't think you have to rush into that trade. But Mo, kind of interesting, something to watch and put on your list. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You, you need to do your own due diligence and be thinking carefully whether or not these trades fit your risk tolerance here in the market. You know, the other thing that we have to consider um, in this market is that we uh, um, have been so extended um, in the short term here that we may want to start looking at some stocks that could potentially be setting up short. Take a look at Walmart. Now, Walmart is trying to hold, desperately trying to hold onto this support level in the chart. But you'll notice while we're trying to hold on that, we continue to fail these lower highs and I think there is that possibility in here that even with a rally back I might be looking for a potential short in Walmart if you notice we've got this big rounding top pattern here on Walmart and a little bit of problem coming in here um, on that trade so watch that closely if we were to fail this support area in here I would say there's more downside to come in some of these charts, so watch them close. Also, you can look at stocks that are very, very extended um, in the short term and look for those patterns that may set up some short trades if you feel like we've, we might be reaching that point where we need a little rest in the market. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Friday morning. Wish you all the best, everyone.